Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name is Seamlund and in this video I want to talk about can this compound called alpha ketoglutarate extend your lifespan? So uh, in 2021 there was this kind of very famous study or very uh, known study where the uh, alpha ketoglutarate supplementation reduced the biological age of humans by eight years on average uh, by just using that supplement uh, for seven to eight months. What? So in this video I want to talk about you know, what does it mean? Is it actually true? And how does this uh, alpha ketoglutarate work? And is it worth uh, taking it? Make sure you click a like and subscribe as well for future videos about optimizing your health and performance. Do it! So this is the study published in uh, November 2021. So quite a recent one. Rejuvent, a potential life extending compound formulation with alpha ketoglutarate vitamins, conferred an average eight year reduction in biological aging after an average of seven months of use in the true age DNA methylation test. So what they basically did was uh, give people this alpha ketoglutarate. Uh, it is, uh, you know, disclaimer initially that, you know, this is company selling this uh, product uh, with alpha ketoglutarate, uh, but, you know, uh, regardless, uh, the study was still done. It's a conflict of interest, but um, anyway, like there, there's also previous studies in the past have found that alpha ketoglutarate supplementation ex extended the lifespan of uh, mice by up to 12% and health span by 41%. So it's this one study was uh, 2020. So there is potential for alpha ketoglutarate to have life extension uh, effects, or at least like um, longevity benefits in terms of increasing your health span. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> we'll talk about the study. So they did the, uh, they start giving people the supplement and they also did DNA methylation test to assess their uh, biological age. And if you don't know, then the DNA methylation test is based upon the Horvath's clock. That is like an epigenetic clock test that look at, looks at the biological age and the DNA methylation patterns of your organs and different tissues in the body. And um, there is uh, some uh, association between higher like uh, DNA methylation age and actual aging and different kinds of comorbidities and aging. So there is uh, some potential with these kinds of uh, methylation clocks as well in terms of assessing your actual biological age and not your chronological age. And the main difference probably is going to be or at least like in my opinion it's not going to be um, you know it doesn't mean that you can die <laughs> like you can still die uh, it means that it will tell you uh, an assessment on your uh, health of your tissues and health of your body so to say like how healthy is your body in a given moment and it re reflects in this uh, dna methylation test and obviously you can probably change it if it takes only seven months to change your uh, dna methylation age by eight years or uh, reduce it by eight years then um, yeah, it's quite you know fast. Obviously, it doesn't mean that they were literally eight years younger uh, biologically, but that their uh, DNA methylation test was uh, younger, which means that they were you know healthier. They were uh, eight years healthier than they actually uh, were. That's how I interpret these um, biological age tests. They're not you know one hundred percent accurate. They're very uh, sensitive to your lifestyle, uh, but they do at least tell you what kind of direction your health is heading in. Diabetes. So this is the study, uh, total participants uh, 42, 14 females, 28 males, uh, the females chronological age uh, on average was 64 and uh, males chronological age was about 62, uh, the biological age, the DNA methylation age at the baseline was 62 for females and 61 for males, in the end it was 65 for females and 53 for uh, males, so they did see uh, quite you know, 7 to 8 year reduction in their uh, biological age after using the supplement for uh, seven months. So what was in the supplement? Uh, in the supplement there was uh, calcium alpha ketoglutarate, uh, 1000 milligrams for both men and female. And uh, the females got, or the males got vitamin A, 900 milligrams, and calcium, 190 milligrams. And the females got vitamin D, 25 milligrams, and calcium, 190 milligrams. I don't know like, if there is any biological difference between needing either vitamin A or vitamin D. They probably just gave the females vitamin D instead of vitamin A to just see whether or not the effects of the longevity or the reduction would come from the alpha ketoglutarate or, or whatnot. But regardless, yeah, this is a supplement, 1000 milligrams of uh, calcium alpha ketoglutarate. So what is alpha ketoglutarate? Basically, you know, uh, alpha ketoglutarate is... Uh, like an um, intermediate or a metabolite in the Krebs cycle, which is kind of describes the metabolic cycle of, you know, just producing energy and everything. And it's uh, involved in there. It's a very important molecule for uh, the metabolism. And uh, you do see a reduction in your uh, alpha ketoglutarate levels uh, as you get older. So your body can't really, you know, produce it. Uh, and uh, you can't get it from diet either. You can't, there is no dietary source of alpha ketoglutarate. 
uh, like there is a dietary source of creatine, which is also involved in energy production and stuff, but you don't get uh, alpha ketoglutarate uh, from uh, diet, whereas you do get it from, uh, whereas you do get creatine from like uh, some foods. Disappointed! How does alpha ketoglutarate extend lifespan? What are the potential mechanisms? So this is an article from novoslabs.com, and uh, they have written it out basically first. Alpha ketoglutarate has epigenetic effects, so uh, there are like these. En this important enzyme called TET, 1011 translocation, and that this uh, enzyme can reprogram the epigenome to a more youthful state. TET needs alpha ketoglutarate to function properly, and the TET also needs vitamin C to carry out its uh, work properly. Uh, alpha ketoglutarate also at the nexus of carbohydrate and amino acid metabolism. The older we get, the we will lose our metabolic flexibility, and uh, you need alpha ketoglutarate to kind of help with swapping between. Uh, the carbohydrate and amino acid uh, fuel sources as well as just maintain this uh, metabolic flexibility it's important for the mitochondria uh, alpha ketoglutarate also activates ampk which is this uh, fuel sensor that is uh, involved with a lot of longevity pathways like autophagy um, nad production uh, sirtuins foxoproteins they uh, are regulated by ampk and uh, yeah it's a very you know activated it's also activated by um, exercise and fasting but uh, obviously, apparently, alpha ketoglutarate can also activate AMPK. Next up, alpha ketoglutarate helps to detoxify uh, the body from ammonia, which is a, you know a waste product of protein metabolism. And excess ammonia is can be bad, uh, harmful for the kidneys, etc. So uh, yeah, alpha ketoglutarate helps to remove it. Uh, alpha ketoglutarate helps with uh, energy production, but it's not significant. And it's also important for maintaining stem cell health and bone and gut metabolism. And lastly, calcium alpha ketoglutarate is also involved in collagen production and can reduce fibrosis. So yeah, obviously important for many things for the joints and the skin. Feel how soft my skin is. There is a difference between uh, regular alpha ketoglutarate and calcium alpha ketoglutarate. The difference between them is that the calcium uh, uh, is going to help to slow down the absorption of the alpha ketoglutarate and uh, therefore you will just absorb it better and it will last for a longer period of time. So yeah, the calcium alpha ketoglutarate tends to be superior to a regular alpha ketoglutarate. So what I think of this study, you know, I actually think it's very um, interesting and I think uh, it shows that alpha ketoglutarate has quite a lot of uh, potential for being like a very simple and uh, cheap and a regular like a longevity supplement that you can do or use at least for improving uh, health span and improving overall uh, vitality so to say um, I do like traditionally it has been used as a, like a bodybuilding drug, a supplement as well uh, similar to creatine but we also know that creatine is also actually many longevity has many longevity boosting effects and the same applies to alpha ketoglutarate so uh, I do the creatine and I also started to take alpha ketoglutarate as well because of this uh, study uh, I think that it's kind of worth it. It's not, it's not crazy expensive. It's not as expensive as NAD or NMN. And I think that, you know, there's actually more evidence now to show that alpha ketoglutarate may have like a better longevity effect than NMN or something like that because of the actual studies showing what it does in humans. And it does appear to reduce uh, the biological age of humans. And there's studies again, like that it slows down the biological age of uh, mice and other animals as well so yeah which supplement am i taking um, i'm actually taking the same novos uh, core product that has calcium alpha ketoglutarate in it so uh, this satchel one ser serving satchel it uh, has vitamin c magnesium malate quite a good dose 300 milligrams of magnesium that's a uh, very good glycine 200 milligrams which is also uh, improving many aspects of health like glutathione and uh, has been found to also extend lifespan in other organisms uh, so yeah, glycine is something that I take regularly besides that, but the uh, Novos core also has glycine. Then calcium alpha ketoglutarate, uh, one, one, uh, 1100 um, uh, milligrams, which is uh, kind of the same dose that was this uh, study. Rhodiola rosea, which is an adaptogen. L-theanine helps with uh, stress and uh, relaxation. Hyaluronic acid, uh, which is a, quite of a smaller dose, but still has positive effects on uh, skin. Uh, Fisetin, which is a senolytic, 100 milligrams is not a large, large dose, but still kind of worth it. Uh, pure ginger, uh, ginger root, uh, ginger is also, you know, AMPK activator and uh, helps to regulate autophagy and uh, even helps with, you know, protein metabolism. 
Um, so it's good to have that as well. And pterostilbin, which is similar to resveratrol, but actually has like a more positive effect on uh, affecting longevity compared to resveratrol. And lastly, lithium orotate, one milligram of lithium. Uh, so uh, yeah, lithium is also, it's not an essential mineral, but it's a mineral and it is important for uh, in maintaining cognitive health and uh, mood, etc. People who, are, who don't have enough lithium, they become schizophrenic and uh, they may also become homicidal. So areas where people don't get enough lithium in their drinking water, for example, those areas have higher rates of suicide and higher rates of homicide. So yeah, obviously very interesting uh, mineral in small doses. One milligrams is a good amount for just overall mental well-being and uh, mental function. <laughs> 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 and uh, they have the satchel, yeah, like the missus, one, one uh, thousand milligrams of the calcium alpha glutarate with all the other compounds, the glycine and, and uh, lithium and those kind of things, magnesium in there. So it's very convenient, very simple. You just mix it with water, tastes really good. Uh, I've also made jello with this. So uh, made uh, like this powder and mixed it with uh, gelatin and uh, made jello with it so we can eat it. Uh, zero calories, <laughs> so zero calorie gelatin with uh, like the calcium alpha glutarate. If you want to check out the NOS core, then yeah, head over to noslabs.com and you can get a 10% discount if you use the code SEEM10. Other than that, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you click a like, subscribe, notification bell as well. My name is SEEM. Stay optimized, stay empowered.